version 1.0. And of course our creator spotlight, add-on, game and tip of the week. Welcome to Signal Minute, your weekly news video for Godot related news. I'm Violin and the Godot 4.6 feature freeze is getting close. On a bit of a sad note to begin with, the trade system which was planned to get added in the 4.6 update got postponed due to it not being done in time before the feature freeze of 4.6 happens. This PR would make composition in GD script better, but we'll need to wait for 4.7, hopefully, before this great feature can get added to the Godot engine. It is sad, but understandable. The feature freeze for the 4.6 update is something we can expect somewhere next week, I think. And at that moment, I'll have a quick rundown of all the new features in the next single emitted episode. There are a lot of very nice and shiny new features that will be included in the next version. So it's something to really look forward to. But even though the feature freeze is getting close, We'll probably still need to wait until the end of January before we get an actual release, depending on how quickly all the bugs can get squashed. And next up, a quick reminder that from the 1st of December, there will be daily live streams and or vigils for Advent of Code. For the people who don't know what Advent of Code is, it's a kind of big coding event, which happens basically around the advent periods from December 1st, normally until um, Christmas. This year, it, they're doing it differently. There will only be 12 days. I'll still do all of them, and I hopefully will be able to make live streams about them. But basically, Advent of Code, it's a coding event in which you can join with any language you want. Zig, C++, GDScript, Python, anything. Even pen and paper, apparently. I'll be joining with GDScript again this year, same as last year. And if you're also joining, you might want to join the private leaderboard and maybe join the Discord server. There will be a link in the description to the Discord server and I will have an Advent of Codes channel during the periods of December. And next up for this week's Creator Spotlight, a creator which I learned a lot from when I started out working on Android related stuff with Godot. Fine Point CGI. This creator doesn't just make tutorials. He makes tutorials about the more difficult and complicated side of game development. From creating custom export templates to tutorials to work with specific features of Android and iOS, networking tutorials and even tutorials to build entire games. He's an awesome creator with very helpful videos and if you haven't already, be sure to check out his videos because there will be stuff that you don't know how to do and that you may want to learn how to do. And do you want to experience some nostalgia? of something you most likely never experienced to begin with. Um, well, now you can. Aiken has merged a commit to make compiling of Godot version 1.0 possible again with modern tool chains. So now you can experience what it is like to compile the first version of Godot and to use it. The binaries are also available now and it was one of the only um, version binaries that weren't available yet. Sadly, no Android, iOS or JavaScript available for this version, but I also don't really expect any games to be made in this version anyway. Um, yeah, are you going to give version 1.0 a go? Let us know in the comments. And then for this week's game of the week, I have for you a game which got released earlier this year, but still worth mentioning. Downfall. Downfall is a minimalist survival city builder in which you gather resources, rebuild your realm and protect your people. You fight the battle against shadows in a medieval fantasy world, play minigames and explore different strategies and playstyles to win the game. Downfall is easy to get started with and is quick to pick up on how to play the entire game. Check this game out with the link in the description. And then it's been some time but let's add some add-ons. Do you like visual scripting and are you sad that it's not a part of the Godot game engine anymore? Well, don't worry since there is Godot Orchestrator. This add-on for Godot gives you visual scripting capabilities for version 4.2 and above. You basically have access to any Godot data type and you can attach any visual script to a scene or a node just like you can with GD script and C sharp scripts. If you are missing visual scripting or you want to give this amazing add-on a go, then again, there will be a link in the description as usual for you to check it out. And talking about scripting, did you know that you can pass arguments when starting your Godot projects, which can be accessed from GD script? All you need is the function os.get comment line arguments. 
and this will give you an array of every argument that has been given, like passed when starting the application. Then you can create a for loop to go over all the arguments and have some if or switch statements to handle the arguments. This is a feature I personally like a lot because I mainly make software related projects. And for my use case, by example, it is to pass the paths to a project, a video editing project for my video editor. So we can load that specific project on startup. For games, I can see this being useful if you want to spawn in a certain area. There are a lot of things that you can do with this in my opinion, and I think it's worth to know that you can actually do this. But yeah, anyway, thank you to all my co supporters for supporting the whole Signal Emitted, the other videos that I make, and next month, the Advent of Codes videos, and also Gozen Development, DDA Gozen Development, and there is a new tool coming, GoGo Effects. Not much news on that yet. I'm working on one more bug before I will release it. But yeah, anyway. Today's episode, well, this week's episode was a little bit shorter. I'm running out of time because I have to prepare for Advent of Codes. There's a lot of other stuff going on right now. I've been dealing with a migraine for the past couple of days. So yeah, sorry for the short episode. There's also not that much news this week. But yeah, subscribe to stay up to date with all the Godot related news that's coming out. And also subscribe if you don't want to miss the whole Advent of Code series. If you think about joining the Advent of Code as well, be certain to check out the Discord server, maybe hang around in the Advent of Code chat. And yeah, let's see how it goes this year. Last year I was not able to finish Advent of Code. Let's hope I can this year. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you all, well, very soon, probably tomorrow already, if you watch my normal videos and else, I'll see you next week. Bye bye.